determine whether it's a variant or not, that requires a genetic sequencing and not all cases are genetically sequenced. There's only a certain number that actually go to a lab for that. It's very expensive. It takes quite a bit of time. Uh, there's a couple of hospitals that can do it. And there's a couple of state laboratories that can do it. So what we look at is a statistical methodology of determining how many cases are associated with a variant. And it is an estimate. So in Hillsborough County right now, along with what you're seeing nationally, the estimate is above 75% of the cases are Omicron. Um, we have confirmed cases of Omicron through genetic testing here in the county, so we're pretty confident that the vast majority are Omicron. Omicron, while it might be a milder disease as far as the severity for humans, it is actually much more highly contagious. Some estimates are putting it the same level as measles, which is one of the high, most highly contagious diseases on the planet today. Um, when you're out and about, being in close proximity with others, you don't know. You don't know their vaccination status. Wearing a mask, the same recommendations that we have been giving all along. Remaining distant, staying away from other people. When you go to things like an outdoor event, and I know we've got several bowls coming up and a lot of events here in Tampa that are outdoors. It's the proximity you have to the other people along with the amount of time you're in that proximity. So if you're around a lot of people very close, wear a mask. That is your safest bet. Wash your hands. This is an airborne disease, but that doesn't mean it's not going to get on you. And when you grab something that someone else has handled and wipe your face, stick your finger in your ear, or rub your eyes, you could easily pick it up. The most common way, though, is being in that proximity and breathing it in. We know through studies that the cloth mask is not as effective as a surgical mask, which is basically three plies, disposable, they're readily available throughout the community. You can get them at Walgreens, Walmart, just about anywhere. So those are some of the key things. If you're going to a party for New Year's Eve, you want to go out. You're going to be in close proximity with a lot of people who may not be thinking about wearing a mask or about the COVID. Um, just exercise some caution. Keep distance as best you can, wear a mask, stay with your crowd that you know and trust. We won't ever totally eliminate the risk of you getting it, but by following these few simple procedures, you can actually minimize your risk and reduce that. Again, what we're seeing is primarily Omicron, very mild. Our hospitals are not filling up. Um, as we saw during the summer with Delta. But when you have it, make sure that you stay home when you're sick. Don't go to the hospital unless you absolutely have to and it's an emergency. The hospital's not the place to get the testing. And I'll stop here and turn it over to Ms. Wise. Thank you, Ryan. I'm Bonnie Wise, I'm the County Administrator. And just to follow up, we want to ensure that we have testing facilities that are available for the public. So the public has the opportunity to go to those testing sites together with the private sector, the CVSs, the Walgreens, the other um, private sector places, but to keep people really out of the hospitals and leave the hospitals for the very sick people. So with that, we have had a testing site that has been open. As you are all aware, it has been very busy, especially the last few days. We have seen almost, we have done almost 3,000 tests a day the last few days, which is maybe almost 1,000 more than we did just a week ago um, per day. And so with that, we are opening another testing site. So the one that's already open is our West Tampa Community Resource Center. 
which is on Rome Avenue. And those testing sites are open daily from nine to five. And the one that we're opening tomorrow is at Pro Progress Village Park. It too will be open daily, nine to five. And, um, but just to be aware, those two sites will be closed in observance of New Year's. So they'll be closed on Friday and Saturday. Because of that, we are going to open up two additional sites for three days. And those two additional sites are the Lee Davis Community Resource Center on 22nd Street and the Plant City Community Resource Center on Michigan Avenue in Plant City. They will be open for fr on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they really will have limited availability, but if somebody is sick, if somebody does have symptoms and can't wait for the other sites to be open or to go to one of the other private sector uh, testing sites, these will be available for people to go ahead and get tested. And so they will be opened. Um, though no appointments are needed at any of the testing sites, and those new ones are just for testing. Our West Tampa site that is um, currently open, the very busy one as we've seen, does have vaccines available and we do encourage people to take advantage of that and also has the monoclonal antibody treatment available by appointment. So those have been very busy as well. And um, we're just gonna continue to monitor that and hope that everybody stays safe, get vaccinated and we'll monitor the testing sites and keep them open as, as necessary. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. And behind me is uh, Fire Chief Barbara Tripp, uh, and she also is the emergency manager with the city of Tampa. And she and the fire chief emergency manager for Hillsborough County, Dennis Jones, work hand in hand to protect our community. And it really is one of the benefits of being in Hillsborough County is that Everyone works very, very closely together, public and private. Uh, as you have heard, this virus, as, as has been predicted, has skyrocketed. It is very, very contagious. The uh, Omicron is out there. That is the majority, as you heard from Ryan, 75%. But the Delta vi variant is still out there. And the best way to avoid contracting uh, the COVID-19 or getting very ill from it is to be vaccinated and boosted. I know that we have sang this song for almost two years now, and a lot of people have been vaccinated and have been boosted, but a lot of people just aren't hearing the words or the music to that song. We have got to get people vaccinated and boosted. If you are vaccinated, that gives you a specific level of protection, but if you get boosted, that is additional protection against Omicron. And as many of you have heard, uh, the predictions are that there's almost a 100% chance of getting this particular variant. So that's all the more reason for individuals to get vaccinated and also to get a booster shot. I was in the county's West Tampa site to get my booster a couple of weeks ago. There was one other individual in there getting their booster and there were about 30 people being tested in there. So again, you don't have to continue going through the testing. If you go and get your vaccination, get your booster. We are looking with the city to open up uh, the sites that we had uh, within our geographic boundaries. Hopefully we will have uh, Al, um, Al Lopez Park over by the Raymond James Stadium open tomorrow and we will be able to test there. And then we're also looking at opening back up in East Tampa at the Al Barnes Park. So we're hoping that we can get those two facilities up, up and running quickly so that they can complement the counties as well. Now let me also continue to sing this song. Do not, do not go to the emergency room to get tested for COVID-19. The emergency rooms are there for individuals who are seriously injured or seriously ill. If you have symptoms of uh, COVID-19 that are mild, you're just symptomatic, you can go to one of the urgent care facilities for BayCare, for Advent and TGH. They all have combined probably 40 
urgent care facilities in the Tampa Bay area. You can go online, make an appointment for testing, or again, if you have those symptoms and you feel you need to see a doctor, then you can go to those locations. We have got to keep our emergency rooms clear for people that are in life or death situations. Uh, at um, Advent, uh, two weeks ago, they had 60 people admitted with COVID-19. As of today, they have 214. So you can see how the hospitals may be getting overrun in the emergency departments very quickly. So people cannot go to those locations for tests. Still, Walgreens, CVS, Publix, all of those are available as well. Do not go to the emergency room for a test. You're just slowing down the, the uh, treatment for those individuals that are in desperate need. So with that said, we are doing all that we can, uh, working publicly and privately to protect our community. We know there are a lot of big events coming up, New Year's Eve, we have the bowl game, a lot of other public events. At this point, it becomes a situation of personal responsibility. Even if you have been vaccinated and you've been boosted, if you're in close contact, wear a mask, distance separate. If you're immune compromised, stay home. Just stay home. So we have to take those precautions at this point. So we will open it up for questions. Everybody's available. We have a great, uh, we have a great uh, relationship with our local Department of Health, and that is on the state level, and they have worked with us very closely to get us whatever we need uh, here in our community. No, no. Uh, frankly, I didn't know there was a New Year's Eve event at Armature Works. But again, that's going to be a decision that these private venues have to make and also a personal decision on the part of individuals that want to participate in some of these events. Personal responsibility. If you decide to go, wear a mask and try to distance separate as much as you can. A lot of people are showing up before the testing sites open or making the appointments ahead of time. But once you start to feel the symptoms and you want to go get tested, then it's difficult to make an appointment and wait a few days. But the testing sites, as long as we have the supplies available, we'll be giving those tests. If I could just add, our pop-up sites that are going to be open during New Year's Day, um, those um, two sites, for the three days, they will have limited availability. So that's why we're encouraging people if they really are sick, if they are experiencing symptoms, that is a good place to go. But otherwise, if they could wait until um, the next day or so, that would probably be better. Understanding there is a national emergency here with COVID. Um, so people all over the country are trying to get supplies. Right now, we do have an ample supply here locally to continue operations. We have put in orders for additional supplies anticipating that higher demand after the holiday. So with good luck, we will have enough to go on. So far, we have seen other sites having issues but here in this county, our sites have not had any problems. With 
with every type of disease like this, you do have the ebbs and flows, the peaks and the valleys. Um, I was reading an article just the other day about some scientists are very hopeful it's going to be a short-lived peak and not last as long as Delta did, which was four to six weeks for us. So I'm hopeful it does, but we always prepare for the worst, that it's not going to go away. I don't have the, um, at the tip of my fingers, I don't have the positivity for Hillsborough County. As of last Friday, which is we look at it from a weekly standpoint, and it was a little bit above 13% for Hillsborough County as of last week. And the highest age group is that 18 to 34 year old group. I'm hoping people go into this New Year's holiday with an awareness and a concern that they might contract it or they may give it to other people. Uh, with this disease, there's a lot of asymptomatic individuals who are in fact transmitting. So going into it, as we've said, with the awareness, wearing your mask if you're at a party and you're around people you don't know, you're not, they're not part of your inner circle. Um, remaining distance as best you can, but first and foremost, get vaccinated, get boosted, go through the series. It's not going to prevent you from getting COVID, but it will definitely reduce the severity that the disease affects you with. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Stay healthy. Oh, well, thank you. That was painless.